Uh, as far as the cleanliness, the only thing I'm going to say is uh, there is a tapisan up there in my room. It's 35 years old. And I can tell you that it's being cleaned weekly, on a weekly basis. I would take a vacuum cleaner and with a tube, just with a tube, not with a that thing nostalgic that thing that you placed on a tube just with a tube I would go centimeter by centimeter like this almost every week to clean that place to keep the room clean a room however right now is not clean because if you stay in that room for let's say five minutes uh, I have no idea what my father has inside of the drawer but the only time I go inside of that room is just to pick up the clothing so basically I am in and out that's all there is uh, you could say I'm not actually allowed to be up there in that room anymore uh, that's why the room is messy uh, but as far as myself I can tell you everything I have is uh, like this is arranged in in the bags like this I have five of them load them in a backpack several times per day in and out like this I don't think anybody's doing this kind of stuff uh, I shower myself daily and everything that is washed is actually hand washed and so that much about the cleanliness and stuff like this I don't appreciate comments from my mama uh, she insulted me that she's actually younger than the women I was with that I was with a nasty, ugly, horse, old women and stuff like that. Uh, that I am ugly myself and so on. Uh, it's a funny thing because the only thing uh, psychiatrists, the Serbian psychiatrists noted on the reports was how I call her a whore. For that matter, I actually apologize to women that are forced into a prostitution because most of them are forced into prostitution there are some that like it whatever but most of them due to social circumstances are forced into it and for that matter i apologize to them not to my mama of course all right it's actually the same thing and i completely almost the same thing not as bad but it's almost the same thing uh, I measure here 90 microtesos for another telephone here for Hum Tom. We're gonna do this and we're gonna go and we're gonna see what's going on here. It looks like this is where it's blowing. It looks like the three uh, data transfer is something completely different than Wi-Fi when it comes to this stuff here. Here we go. So the stuff that I have actually measured the other day with the Wi-Fi was actually Wi-Fi. Now we're measuring um now we're actually measuring something else yeah just when i would thought that this thing is that was bad enough i see now it's actually even worse there you go Okie dokie, uh, that's a telephone uh, making right now a cellular call, sick, a meter right here, as you see it, it is already blowing radiation on a distance like that when you make a phone call and I just want you to see the distance, look at the distance, now there's nothing anywhere here, there's nothing going on here, nothing, 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 here's the chair, look, look at that, this is a mad machine this stuff here let's just go and I'm gonna go 
This telephone is way better than the other one though. I'll tell you, look at that. 130, 135. 135 micro -tesses, huh? You like it? You like to have a telephone like this? This is a seller of signal on this on this creature here. This is Humtom 16 modified by my niece's husband. The same thing like the other one, the same thing. So, again, probably you can blow more than this, but I don't have a time. And I don't even have the energy about this stuff. To me, this, this is stupid. Uh, I am sick. I'm tired of this crap. Just look on the internet and you're going to see the regular cellular phone, what the cellular phone can do to you. Please, go on the internet and see it, what the regular cellular phone can do to you. And you're going to see what the regular cellular phone can do to you. Okay? When you, when you expose one next to your head, what it does to you. How long, how that changes temperature of your brain, what it does to you. Okay? Then go and use that shit and we're going to see for how long that's going to be working for you. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing to hide. 135 micro -tesses. no there ain't nothing here There's nothing going on here i ain't got nothing hidden i'm not hiding anything okay there's nothing this shit is deadly shit is what this is uh thanks to this beast from my neighbor uh he actually explained to me he didn't. Others, others did that. In the continuation, you're going to see the video how I was stuck actually outside and attacked with direct energy weapons. However, they suggested to me that he's going to do this when the battery depletes itself because, hmm, the meter, the meter when battery is depleted is actually not completely itself that's what they have claimed uh, and really it was the battery was kind of empty but still uh, it did record it nicely the transition between high powered attack to low powered attack uh, it completely is okay it's completely legitimate because because of this because also he stated under mk ultra that he's going to go and destroy me this kind of triple a batteries that i'm not gonna have them once i start using this thing i'm gonna go ahead right now since i have this totally brand new batteries here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly go one more time uh, just to ensure that some idiot is not gonna actually suggest that how You know how anything had to do with the batteries or something like this that is not properly showing. Oh hell, it's properly showing. It's actually now showing 167, 170 and so on. Okay, so definitely is showing 170 micro Teslas with the full batteries. With the full batteries, when it's well charged, it's actually showing more than when the battery is depleted that much about this meter uh because i don't want anybody to come out and gesture doubt about it's this it's that tra -la -la. no 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 it's legitimate it did go to estonia from belgium which it should go to slovenia it's okay and i was told it's going to be open and modified and i don't know what the other one did not even come but so far so good this shit is beyond wrong this 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 android this has been modified into a murderous machine okay so no there are no mistakes there is nothing here everything is the way it should be Just saying that it's not going to be some kind of, uh, you know, that somebody's not going to come and say, yeah, well, whatever. No, 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 no. One more time. I want to see something. I just want to see something one more time.
I see the temperature is also look at this now it's blowing to 182 I also see the temperature is rapidly changing you know look how rapidly the temperature is changing I mean why because I don't know look you see this things look at the temperature how it's changing so there might be other forms of radiation there might be some stuff I don't even know what this supposed to mean now is it over blue with the radiation or something like that something just happened folks so I don't know you see the temperature and then you see the whole thing just reset itself because why what else is this shit doing what kind of machine is this shit what is this thing I don't think anybody would want to have this yeah uh, uh, I can help myself but to remind myself of what this maniacs this serbochetniks and their slovenian collaborators have identified me as of course i'm talking about the psychiatrists like sveto gradishar i'm talking about zoran muja i'm talking about these maniacs uh vesna schwab these people what i don't want to curse again these people have identified me as a paranoid schizophrenic individual who is a paranoid who sees things that don't exist Tatiana Prokshul at the same time they're giving you this shit they're giving you a brain cancer like solid and they are the one identifying people as mentally sick basically really really mentally sick people are identifying healthy people and driving them insane making making them sick with this with all kinds of issues and identify them as mentally sick and sick and i don't know what else i am a member of national resistance here in slovenia and i am so thankful these people have accepted me gave me a membership i feel honored with that uh, national resistance of slovenia Osvobodilna uh, Fronta, it's also known. It's something that should unite uh, our people, and this regardless on which side they were. Uh, because everybody should realize that the only purpose, the real purpose of this movement was to ensure our existence. However, I have to ask you folks, I gotta ask everybody, and that, that actually includes you. Uh, I see you going on a celebrations, and I am happy that you do that it's so important that you do uh that you commemorate uh the pledge for this nation uh the people that gave their lives uh people that uh ensured our existence so important to revive the memories uh, but i just want to ask you a question if there was a neo-nazi germany here if the neo-nazi germany or fascist italy won if they would won and they would have here i don't know whatever it would be here germany or italy or whatever what exactly what their health care look like you know the health care think about health care think about slovenian health care think about the stuff i'm talking about it wasn't only about the psychiatrists it was also about the staff members from a uh, hospital, local hospital, not even a psychiatric hospital, would accomplish them. They would accompany them and come here and harass and do the stuff like this. Please, take a moment and think about what exactly would Gestapo and neo-Nazi, a fascist, healthcare look like. And then think about Slovenian healthcare and tell me, what exactly would look different look at my case and what exactly tell me what it would look different between their health care and slovenian health care uh, and it applies the same to the police um, it applies basically to all the public services i had uh, not really a pleasure to deal with okay uh, tell me about it think about this uh, i'm so happy i'm so glad that you go and that you commemorate uh world war ii victory uh but uh you know I, I feel that the movement itself is really no longer the same uh it does not pay respect to the same um qualities as our people have pledged to during the world war ii 
uh, you know, I don't see actually a difference between uh, traitors, uh, neo-Nazi collaborators during the World War II, and uh, people that we have today that run this country, that run this system, and are doing exactly the same thing for the sake of the great Serbia to our native people. I just want to say this, this is very important. Uh, I think that movement is deeply penetrated by people, by really by the Chetnik movement, by the great Serbian ideals. And I gotta say that's something I totally disagree with. This is the movement that should unite us. And it looks to me like it's a movement that is used, used, abused today to cover up reality about what's happening in Slovenia. I gotta say this. Uh, folks, I'm not a paranoid. Believe me, I'm not a paranoid. Uh, I am the least paranoid person in the world. I just want you to see this as a normal telephone, what it does to a human being. Okay? I don't know if there is anything else to add to that. Uh, this is basically what your head looks like after just 15 minutes of using mobile phone. And you're talking about a normal telephone. You're not talking about anything like they have done to me, let's say. So, I think this is a pretty awesome demonstration on what the cellular phone can do to you, but God forbid that you would actually have something like I have. Okay, that's not exactly the best thing. So, I'm not a paranoid or anything like this, but if this would happen to you, I bet you also would be concerned about it. All right, my friends, this is July the 22nd, 2018, and I gotta tell you, frankly, I didn't plan on anything like this. Um, you talk, you're looking at about 70 more uh, micro Teslas blowing right through this little thing. Um, I think that we have more than just like I would say one device that is blowing all over this kind of stuff. Uh, let me go and let me just want to go and see this area here too. Um, what happened was I was just upstairs and it just started. You could clearly feel the attack. So I decided to investigate uh, the situation, find out really what's going on here. Now let's go and what we're going to do is I'm going to set the maximum here for you. So we're going to measure exactly what the maximum radiation here is uh, on this device here. You were you're able to see frequently goes under, I mean, about 50. Uh, it measures right here. Oh, I don't know if you were able to see it or not. Um, it measures right here. What is it? 59, 60, 60 micro -tesses. Yeah, And I can tell you, I kind of feel funny about this thing here, holding my hand next to this thing here. Kind of feels, uh, I'm going to say like really, really funny, funny feeling. All right. I want to be very precise about the funny feeling. <clears throat> you could go and do precisely do the same thing as I did. You wouldn't have any funny feeling, any any feeling at all. Um, if anybody out there, <laughs> I have never washed fruit in my lifetime. Uh, it didn't matter to me whether I got one out in a forest, uh, in a, on a field, um, on a yard, or in a, even in a supermarket. I didn't care because I deemed to be pretty damn resistant to just about anything in this world. And I am. I am resistant as hell, but here's the catch. Directed energy weapon attacks started, I don't know how much you remember, I would, it would take me about 11, 12 hours to gather myself together mentally because it totally collapsed you mentally. Uh, it's, it, you, you, I, you, you're completely stressed when you're hit with direct energy weapons, whatever this dude is using, uh, you you don't you, you don't feel like even you want to get up from the bed. You're sick. You're totally sick because 
you're sick from the attack because you're physically screwed totally totally it's it's undescribable the muscles suffer everything suffers but it hits your brain more than anything else and you you I don't know I'm not gonna say that you feel like you want to throw up but you feel like you're gonna die really that you feel like you're not gonna be capable to write another news it takes you about 11 12 hours uh, before actually you feel to again to feel somewhat normal this is how the shit started here in this case it repeated several times like this and what I was for what I was told on MK Ultra it destroys cells big time it hurts in other words your immune system once your immune system is hurt the dosages the attack dosages are becoming systematically reduced however the effect on your body is almost the same because it's all prorated okay uh, and so uh, as it goes along your immunity systems system it gets more and more and more and more damage you start to, uh, to experience which are the first signs of health problems are actually high blood pressure issues you get it so as this thing drags and drags and drags and drags and drags uh, your immune system is getting is becoming weaker and weaker and weaker and even once you start to exercise and you do muscle work and all kinds of stuff you do it doesn't help it doesn't help because the blood pressure as long as the blood pressure is being maintained you are not the same anymore like you used to be you are far from there you are now completely basically different kind of person you are now in a totally different body you are now susceptible for uh, chloride you're gonna feel when you if you eat like uh, fruit if it's if it's I'm not gonna say poison if it's if it's sprayed with a chloride already you're gonna it's gonna be shh you take a shower chloride shower and you're gonna be shh you feel it other people would not but your blood pressure simply will explode the other day when I claim on a new site that it was related uh, to the chloride I don't think we are actually even using chloride here anymore uh, I remember they also suggested that they would substitute the whole water system they would modernize one but there is also another chemical that is being used which you cannot smell and that might have an effect and I have also used some kind of deodorant uh, otherwise I recommend people what is known as a soda bicarbona mixed with the water uh, which also is form of salt but 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 please uh, it does not it does not understand I understand that it does not affect high blood pressure I'm just saying do whatever you want to do I think it's much more effective than any other deodorant out there what I wanted to say is basically is that you if you would give hand next to that uh, counter that whatever meter you wouldn't feel uh, you wouldn't feel anything but somebody that's got issues with a high blood pressure whose immune system was already severe damaged uh, yes you you bet you can feel that stuff okay so I just want to make myself clear specify this kind of stuff it's also the stuff I was told under MK Ultra about the chloride uh, I was told about that stuff uh, but later on they did change it. so that's why I assumed because I took the shower and all of a sudden it was like skyrocketed and this thing happened before too every time when I would take the shower you know instead of to feel better it would be just uh, blood pressure would just go up uh, I made an assumption and I guess I made a mistake so it might be it might be uh, I don't know it might be deodorant it might be something else I have no clue what it was but that was the case 
So under MKR, MKR truck can be a real problem uh, once you're exposed to the issues like this. It's you making assumptions. Usually you would go and you would investigate probably the internet, but MKR is a problem because it triggers the memories and sometimes it seems so logical that would be the case but that's exactly what's not and you make a statement you make a claim and then you look stupid it doesn't make it credible it's very dangerous mk ultra is very dangerous let's just continue with this okay so this is the area i have talked about this is like a lower gouge uh i suspect that this thing here most likely would be i assume for this year for the furnace uh probably i would say let's see not too damn bad about 7.66 micro so on and so forth that's a little bit different with this one here and this is I'm not sure what this is. I don't really communicate, nor with father, and even less with uh, husband of my niece. But this thing is blowing big time radiation. It's already at 194 microteslas. So that's almost 200 microteslas. 500 knots. I made a mistake. It was a mistake. Uh, but, you know, 200 is a lot. It's a hell of a lot. It's about. 2,000 times more than what your laptops should have. It's a lot. Uh, now, I did talk to you about the deadly ripples. Interference, amplitude, whatever you want to call that. Uh, when radiation sort of amplifies. But in this case, it creates like a little ripples. Uh, radiation ripples. Uh, amplification. Now, from this side, you have radiation. This is how I believe this is happening. And you also have going from this side. And now if you increase this thing, then you get really crazy numbers that can come out. Yeah, I bet if I would go in between this. Yeah, this is this is a lot, 194 microteslas actually. It's it's very, very considerable amount. And with this camera, I can really, really properly record this way better than I did before. And I can see this quickly, what the situation is. Today uh very very low nothing like it was the other day and it's also interesting today i do not notice uh, i'm gonna say any kind of uh, high blood pressure issues i mean that's also interesting ah there is going up again okay um not like the last time anyways even the 57 microstasis is uh, i'm gonna say it's quite considerable it's quite a respectful number you would not want to go and expect uh, expose yourself to stuff like this this here is uh, not producing so much but i would not go and just dismiss one just like that either still is staying in lower numbers that's a cookie right there <sighs> let's go here and what i want to do is let's just do it like this and this is the stuff i have talked about this should be water this is for the water now i'm not really sure why there is like a radiation going through here uh of course there shouldn't be no radiation going through here i mean 
why would there be radiation inside of the pipes? I mean, does it make sense? To me, it doesn't make any sense, but this exactly is the case. Unless, let me see something. Yeah, you could have asked yourself again here because of this thing is radiation, but there's no radiation inside here. Okay, so it's blowing through here. Uh huh. Okay, so now let's see exactly what the situation is here. Uh, there, again, I have noticed something interesting. It looks like open and, you know, the radiation here is quite blowing. So, let me go and set here to the max. And basically, let's see what we're going to get here. We got 63 so far. That's basically that same gadget. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I see now. Yeah, we don't also want to be here too long about this stuff here. Let's see this thing here, what the situation is here. Hmm? Okay. Yes. Yeah, if you would say something like this, you would have screwed yourself uh, big time. Uh, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, now let's see. Let's go. We're going to set this. Yeah, there's something blowing here in respect to the agency. What exactly the situation is here? If it's anything going on here. Okay, nothing much going on here uh, except for that thing right there, these two gadgets, and that one right there, that's pretty damn bad. Other than that, nothing alarming uh, that I could record at least. Let's go and let's see what the situation is here. stuff here and let's see what the situation is here okay that's again blowing 28 microteslas 34 microteslas uh -huh, 55 microteslas yeah, it appears to me that like there is something in here, uh, but then again, there is stuff that you see right here. This thing is here. Again, I don't know really how normal that thing is. 55 microteslas is actually a lot. I have not really seen uh, power plug, uh, whatever you want to call this, banana, whatever you want to call this, that would be blasting like with this kind of radiation. I got them upstairs, but it's nothing like this. Uh, Mitya Weber insisted and insisted and insisted. I was brought here when they integrated new windows upstairs in the room and they would pull the old one out, the frames, and he insisted and insisted and insisted that he placed something inside in there, inside of the wall, some kind of station, something that is going to radiate, that is going to do, I don't know, mind read and all kinds of stupidities. This is just a really Valt Juracic number two. It's just the type of individual. I got nothing to be ashamed of. This is the stuff these people have gestured me. He also suggested he would place something in there. So... He did not, I realize, it's just a power extension, whatever you want to call that, 
that is blasting radiation. But this is the shit this guy was talking about. Sure, it's not pleasant to see stuff like this. Uh, most definitely, uh, Vesna Schwab gestured that what they're going to do is they're going to, about the plan that they're going to have people, uh, mom, father, and everybody else is going to basically know for these points where it's going to be radiating. Even the gadgets like microwave upstairs, they're going to do to it. Uh, but I will not know and so on and so forth. But what's really, really tricky and backstabbing is that microwave upstairs, one time I have measured how much is, is radiation and there was no radiation. And so I eat, I use it, so on and so forth. Then by coincidence, I went by and tried the radio and I realized the microwave was actually blasting like 200 microtesters radiation. So you don't know in this home, in this house, you don't know from one neck from one day next to another how things are gonna change, who's gonna do what is gonna do, and so on. This isn't re really this isn't really pleasant to be around people like this. People like this shouldn't even be here. It should be taken away already a long time ago. It's overdue, big time. Uh regarding the kitchen. Uh yeah, that's a tricksy one you're gonna see. That's a tricksy one. Regarding my room, that's another tricksy one. I am just gonna cite one signorina that was here. Uh, bellissima, bella, beautiful. I'm just joking. I like to joke a lot, actually. Okay, uh, there should be always, you know, some form of uh, humor in everything, even in stuff like this. Otherwise, you not survive. She said to me like this. If you stay inside here, she said, the only thing you can come here in your room is you pick up your clothing and you out of here. That's it. Because if you stay here, I think she said, I don't know, like five minutes or something, they measured the amount of the radiation. I will not say who. Uh, you already get such a high dosage of this that is like you would get in... I don't know how many days you understand hell yeah it's coming that from my father's drawer that thing because memory kicked in I remember if I go inside of that room my uh, that is next to my father's room I can only hear like this in in like five minutes I am gonna tell you what in three four minutes you hear No, I am not kidding. Uh, inside the kitchen, Nisa's husband created a special radiation field, I should say S in the end, fields that cross. And when the radiation fields cross, they create a special effect that is, I don't know what is the name of that effect, but I did read somewhere and I will demonstrate you, you will understand exactly what I am talking about. The light, the fixture light from the ceiling is actually radiating like like a meter around, like all around and then you have this beautiful laptop as you know it also goes one meter and now you have two of this radiation fields intersecting and you're right there anybody can tell you that um, people experts in this field this actually is deadly that's why I always was uh, yeah the radiation field turns on when you turn the light on if you don't turn the light on uh, there is no radiation from that light fixture I will demonstrate you all that stuff it's interesting in fact it's the stuff you should all pay attention to all this stuff that you see here you should pay attention to inside of your homes, inside of, inside of your housing. Uh, today, I was at the postal office and I actually demonstrated ladies over there that they should, you know, have this kind of little gadgets, uh, radiation readers, uh, and, you know, it totally reminded uh, of myself, you know, it was like, oh, no, thank you, you know. 
even that it would be handy it would be handy for everybody but you know this is how we people are let's just say this way all right this thing here 60 70 micro teslas i don't know uh going like this exactly this way that's exactly where my chair is that's exactly where you saw me sit and that's the bed right next to it like a little sofa uh this thing here that's blowing right like this like this right in this area right like this up it's exactly the chair in the kitchen where i sit okay i am gonna tell you what's going on i am gonna only repeat to you the words from mk ultra what's going on variety of weapons of directed energy weapons is that make direct energy weapons attack effective if you will be only using one type of weapon person would be only suffering from one symptom he would only have certain type of issues but when you're using variety of weapons there is all kinds of stuff that you can inflict to the person so the all kinds of stuff of health problems appears in a person is exactly what's going on it's done very professional in fact the machine the machine that this neighbor had i remember that when they talked he demonstrated this machine to dr bornstein at otochitz when they talked about they had like a switch that he could switch change types of radiation i don't know what kind of radiation this is i don't know what what they're using what exactly they're using i cannot say uh it was talk about the microwave it will talk about the ultrasound it will talk about the x-raying uh x-raying should be like from the beginning or something like this they talked about they talked about something that about x-raying that uh actually if you would go immediately to the hospital that you could actually they could actually detect that you have that you have been x-rayed or something like this they talked about stuff like this i didn't want to go back then mrs schwab even appeared here with a psychiatrist even appeared here with a nurse they terrorized even even when i was attacked with directed energy weapons psychiatrists appeared here to harass me not to offer me assistance not to offer me police assistance and like medical type of assistance that they would come with a concern that they would say well you know but if this and this is the situation why don't you come over to a hospital and we're going to examine we're going to find out what's going on and we're even going to give you uh you know some kind of indicator something some kind of uh, gadget something instruments that you can use that you can protect yourself and then properly record and report to the police or something like this it was not in this sense it was in a sense like harassment sense like something is wrong with me because i dare to come forward and claim direct energy attacks the same thing like proxia did before that Moja did and proxia did, did, did they started to harass me do not even think about talking the mk ultra if you're going to talk about the mk ultra the ambulance vehicle come to pick you up basically it's the same thing i don't see no difference this is only different type of uh, violence used and again the same precondition basically terror do not talk about basically when we are doing this stuff to you i have also um, realized very very special relation here between the light and between the laptop and this place there are very few places here you can go and work <laughs> very few because it's a wi-fi uh, and look at this thing here what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to boost wi-fi and i'm going to remove myself to another area where somehow in the garden or someplace but i don't know where it's hot okay so it's a laptop right there okay let's let's get an idea where are we right now okay it's a quite quite a difference right there where i sit and between the light but when it comes to the radiation between laptop it's like all this here where the working area is it's all radiation basically is blowing all over 
look all the way to the light I just want you to see what's going on because I think they have done something to the light not only to my laptop but I think in my opinion I think they have done something to the laptop too and so I would say this thing here creates like a special kind of field uh, electric radiation field it's not a good place to sit and on top of that it might be also that something is coming from the outside very very well because they played with something with some kind of gadget radiation gadget they were doing all kinds of stuff measuring you know using different kind of materials thick and thin to see how much is going to penetrate through and so on so i got this feeling that you see i'm on this side of the of the light this light fixture and the only thing i get is i get plenty of radiation here too so what have they done oh my god what have they done to to this light fixture too not only to my laptop I don't know if you see these things properly at all, but this is all one big S radiation here. So I here is the microwave. That that one is gonna boost like I don't know 200 microteslas. I thought 200 microteslas was a lot. That's about two times two thousand times more than uh, radiation recommended for the laptop. But now I see something completely different. So today this was a mind opener. Wow, I mean 550 micro Teslas downstairs. Uh, that's just incredible. Creator of this kind of program with this kind of stuff. I mean creator, you got to be an idiot to do the stuff like this was my niece's husband, Mitya Weber, and he talked under MK Ultra about how he's gonna create like a point in the house for which parents would know uh, and would avoid and of course another person, that's myself, would not know about and I would get radiated obviously like a mouse uh, and others uh, not, so well, that much about this business here Mitya Weber, uh, this Yugo fascist, Belgradian, Moscovian fascist, also gestured that it's gonna be Netanyahu's niece who's gonna come to save him. And if I would not be going to the Israel with her, he would be going to Israel and he would come back from Israel to kill me. Uh, or send somebody and so on and so forth, that kind of stuff. Uh, really, really a nice person, a nice individual on the surface. Uh, beneath this individual actually is a beast uh, very very loyal to the Belgrades it's all Israel Israel is guilty for all my father alone gestured and Donna Collins they dare to suggest me also well you know this this not not good for you we warn you about these things we warn you about these things these people from israel this no good no good this thing no good for you no good for you it was not the belgrade right that did this shit. it's not the moscow that does that it's of course israel is guilty for everything yeah that's how that goes so and meanwhile i have i figured out where i could possibly go also I could uh, I could hide myself under my daddy's bed. There is plenty of space for both of us. You see what this is? It's my laptop right there. I almost missed out on the most important part here in the kitchen area when it comes to the light fixture, okay? Right here over the table. You see it? You don't see anything. You see it? And this, this shit is done deliberately this way, you get it? 
So it's done in a way that when you turn the light on, you get it. So this shit is blowing basically la a la carte. I don't even know how to record this stuff. Okay, we're going to do it like this. Look, look, you see it? You can hear it at least. I see it. Sure, you can see it. You get it? You get it. Yes, you get it. Netanyahu had some very good points about all this stuff, about the Belgrade and Moscow. Uh, Netanyahu's points are actually very, very valid, strong points, points of logic, uh, such as we're going to give this to these people and they're going to do nothing about it because it's everything controlled opposition, entire parliament, all this, it's all controlled. And that's about it. You're going to come to the Israel. This is what he said. And it's not a stupid thing at all to think this way. I'm going to explain to you why. Uh, Vujacic further suggested, insisted that uh, this and this and this is going to happen. We're going to destroy Croatia. Uh, we're going to dis uh, in Slovenia, everything is going to be kaput. It's all going to be again Yugoslavia. That's what we're going to create it. And was so brazen and he is so certain in his plans that he gestured me on further. He gestured, I said, uh, if I managed to do all this, uh, basically ran over Croatia with the tanks and come to Slovenia and do all this stuff, make great Serbia again, build big Serbia, Serboslavia, Yugoslavia again. He said, are we going to be friends then? He said, like this that's how certain these people are and from what i see in the parliament in slovenian parliament about what's happening really the only thing i can say is really really nothing is what's happening other than betrayal of course we don't have any people in slovenia that would stand up for slovenian people not israel has got nothing to do with the israel um it really are a great grand appetites from Moscow and Belgrade. That's what this is all about. Uh, but yeah, uh, Netanyahu did assist at Moscow and Belgrade enormously, tremendously. Blocked my websites, news sites, uh, censored my stuff, uh, downplayed video views, destroyed basically my publicity, paved the ground for, psychi for uh, psychi psychiatric abuse against me and so on and so forth. Blocked me from employment a lot, not so much really. He could not do for the most part stuff like that. Uh, but he did stuff, he did problems, he created enormously a lot of problems. And he also violated uh, all treaties and international and domestic Israeli treaties and so on. Israel did have a lot to do with it uh, but really Israel did this on behalf of the Belgrade, on behalf of the Moscow. Uh, that is true. Uh, I was warned, and I will suggest this stuff, that Netanyahu is dangerous in a way also for the Middle Europe because he brings over uh, American diplomats, European diplomats and he basically throws them right in front of the Russian diplomats. Basically he sets up the meetings between the Russian, American uh, and European and Russian diplomats that he does the dirty stuff like that too. I gotta be blatantly honest about everything. I just gotta be honest. I gotta give you uh, the whole background. Uh, the way I see it, I don't see this in any negative light. I see these things in a positive light. Uh, it's not really his fault uh, that people are dirty. Uh, if he brings it together, if he have you meet person, it's actually a benefit. This is not really a weakness for you. It doesn't have to be weak weakness for you or for your country. But it, everything has to do with your ethics, with what, how you see things as, okay? If you see things uh, like, uh, like terrorism, like a Russian terrorism and Serbian terrorism as a positive sign, as a good thing for the world, then you, you will take 
you know, that type of direction toward Russia. You know, if you see, uh, you know, this type of what's happening in Ukraine, what's happening in the Europe, what's happening in the world, because I am a U.S. citizen and this shit was done by the Russians to me already in the U.S. with assistance of the CIA. Uh, if you see these things as negative, of course, then you learn as much as you can and you use that advanced knowledge to, uh, you know, to do the right, I should say, what you think is the right thing to do. Again, this isn't his fault, it's really not dirty. We should rather be concentrated on basically how we say things as, and also who see things as how, okay? If United States is doing that kind of stuff, if Berlin is doing that kind of stuff, that doesn't mean that Poland also has to do it that way. That doesn't mean also that Ukraine has got a lot of infiltration inside the politicians, uh, the politics, that they also have to do it this way, if they want the way out. If they don't want the way out, and then in that case, Netanyahu made a very good point, then it really, really doesn't matter. What matters is a human life. That's what Netanyahu accented in my case. He insisted the Serbs are going to kill me. And Serbs are, they are fanatics, they are very dangerous people, a terrorists, a real threat to our people is what they are. I am going to tell you straight like this, the way things are. So that's probably the biggest crime I would say that Netanyahu had seen my life as somewhat, in a way, precious and did try to assist and did try to push forward somewhat some kind of uh, solutions for me in a way. He did this, but he also did some other stuff, but I also did stuff I should never have done it, uh, but it was again, it was a Putin the one that insisted on me preaching the fascism Nazism. It was Vladimir Putin who told me that this is what you're going to start with, Nazism, Fascism. And I did not. I resisted to it. Several years after MK Ultra, from 2006 to 2012, I didn't want to have absolutely nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with 2011, something like that, 2010. 2010, from 2000 and... Uh, from 2006 to 2000, that's four years. Uh, I wanted to date a Serbian women from Belgrade. I went to the website and that was my idea. Uh, I created a political party. I wanted to create the political party. It was on the internet. Political party knows as Revival, Prenova, uh, that would benefit even Roma people that would basically benefit really socially oriented political party in a smart way, in a, in a smooth way, poli politics basically. But they didn't want that. They came after me with psychiatrists. They wanted to kill me. They, go, they wanted to whack me. That was not the right. It was not the way I see things. Is. They went after me like crazy and who did? Who else did Moscow and Belgrade did? What have they done to me in the U.S. other than stalking me? Serbs have even stolen the money from me in Chicago. A Russian landlord and a Serbian from whom I have leased apartment. They even took $350. Uh, they would go wherever I would go, like a death behind me in Chicago. Uh, and wherever I would knock, there would be no, no lease for you. No nothing, no nothing. The only place for you that right there. You know, folks, um, Putin wanted Nazism, Putin wanted fascism because he wanted to blame Ukraine for one. 